Help, I can't, I can't see. I think I'm blind, I'm blind. Um, not sure where to go. Mate, just trust me, right? Follow me. Yeah, but how do I know? Mate, will you just have some faith in me? Faith? Oh, you mean blind faith. To everyone in the vinyl land, it's CV. Actually, a couple of guys in the comments, um, some of my videos recently, are referring to me as CV, and I, I like that. I like that. It's nice and short and sharp, and still stands for Craig Vinyl. So, to you who called me CV, I thought that was a good idea. I might use it more. So, thanks. Uh, this shirt here, <clears throat> you might have seen me wear this in my last video. Um, I actually bought this. Let me stand up here a bit. There we go. As you can work out, it's a tour. A tour. Whoop, here we go. Tour shirt, ninety four, ninety five. It's the um, Rolling Stones Voodoo Lounge tour. What have we got here? All the the gig dates, I suppose. Probably Asian gig dates, and I uh, saw them in in Brisbane. Almost. I know this might this might be shock horror to some people, but. Almost the support act I thought was better than the Rolling Stone. Now the support act is a band called The Cruel Sea. If you want to look them up, The Cruel Sea. At the time were reasonably big in Australia, an Australian band. Great music. And uh, they hit the stage and they sounded great. The Stones, maybe my fault, I expected too much, but I, I just felt let down. You know, I guess I was expecting the power of... of to feel the power of the original songs, but of course they've changed band members and um, changed um, the sound for stage. I, I don't know. Anyway, hope you're all good. So just a bit of sort of kind of random collection of vinyl here, so we'll kind of whip through them. And the first one going by my Stupid intro. I hope you like the intros. If, if they're over the top or too corny, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me know if I need to stop it or if they're that dumb, they make you laugh, then I'm happy with that. <laughs> Blind Faith, yes, that's the reason for the intro. And do you think I just came up with that pretty quickly? Then you're right. Polydor. So, who is Blind Faith? For those of you who don't know, so as it says here, Eric Clapton, Steve Winwood. Ginger Baker, Rick Gretsch, if I spelt, pronounce that right. And that cover. Yeah, loving my rock music, classic rock. Having an album like this is an absolute must. I saw it, I grabbed it. And of course, you know, Eric Clapton, I've been collecting his albums. What can you say? Uh, Steve Winwood, Winwood, Killer Voice, what can you say? You know, Ginger Baker, amazing drummer. In terms of songs on here, Sea of Joy, I'm familiar with. Well All Right. Of course, Buddy Holly co-wrote that Well All Right. Uh, can't find my way home. Heart to cry. So Steve Winwood has written majority of these tracks. Uh, Clapton's written one and Ginger Baker. Only two songs on side two. Um, but just, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Um, as I'd expect I would, as you'd probably expect I would enjoy this sort of music. So... Do yourself a favour. <laughs> Next one. Uh, uh, if, for those of you who follow my Facebook, you would have seen I, I posted this. Uh, I, was I was listening to it the other day. And, uh, and um, I think in the post I said something like, if I can find it, I'll put it on the screen here. You can read it there. So as it says, I'm listening to Zappa. So for those of you who are a Zappa fan or maybe a Zappa fan or you've got one or two albums and you played it and you sort of thought, what, what, what? Uh, I felt the same again. But <laughs> music is, uh, overrides any, any, any uh, not negative thoughts, but sort of curious thoughts you might have about some of the lyrics, some of the music. Um, obviously a lot of this stuff is recorded pretty quickly and Zappa is just coming up with these ideas on the fly and, and then recording them. Um, but like the records I've heard of him so far, there might be a little bit of weird stuff in it and then all of a sudden Zappa comes in and he just 
you know, steals the show again by playing fantastic guitar as he does. Um, but really funny. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of lost for words how to describe it. You'll just, you'll just have to get this. Call me strange, but I used to go chic, you brewery something or other. I couldn't pronounce it. And I just looked at it before. Shake. Chic. Shake. Your booty. So shake your booty. And I really like the label of this. It's, got this. it's on the Zappa Records label. That looks awesome. I love that. It's probably one of my favourite labels. Just visually looking at. And there's the other side. So, But after all that, ex extremely recommend Zappa Records. Get them. Talking about Zappa, uh, this is The Mothers. Just another band from LA. On the reprise label, which is kind of like um, Neil Young label. There they are. Uh, again, it's Zappa, of course. But for me, the mothers are even. If if the Zappa is known as the uh, if a Zappa album comes across as called the Mothers, it's even weirder. <laughs> I mean, really weird. McCartney. Uh, it's my second copy. I, I got. I didn't. I thought I had an original, but um, sorry. I thought I had a copy of this, and I do. But here's two, so I'll be able to Frankenstein and pick the best, the best copy. Uh, first time I've seen this in the wild. Would you believe? Um, George Harrison somewhere in England. And it's got the smash it as it says here on the hype sticker. All those years ago. There's George there. Um, I have played side A. It's you know it's okay. It's not bad. It's not fantastic. Not the best record in the, in the, in the collection. But um, it's George Harrison. You know vinyl collectors. You got to get this stuff. Next one is an old Aussie rocker. Fantastic! Oh, fantastic! Brilliant Aussie rocker. Let's put it that way. Billy Thorpe. I've seen this a few times, you know, 10 bucks or less you'll get it for. Now, this is an original, Music for Pleasure. It's sort of, I love these labels. It's not picking up the green on here, but you know it's an original as soon, soon as you feel the weight. It's from the 60s or 70s. Basically, this record came together from the Billy Thorpe, um, if you read the notes here, from the fan club, I think from the fan club. They've picked the songs, a collection of Billy Thorpe songs. So, uh, plenty of songs are missing that I would have wanted on there. But, but hey, it's Billy Thorpe. Next one, Super Tramp, Crisis. What well, Crisis? I've already got this, but I needed a better copy. So on a and Happy to get that. Uh, two more to go. The biggest twang of them all, Dwayne Eddy. This was a cheap record. I'm not a huge Dwayne Eddy fan, but it's guitar. I like guitars, you know. So, this one, uh, I suspect most of you won't know who this is. Jeez, I hope you're all relaxing. And a few of the songs I really like, when they came out, yeah, they were, they were not bad, a couple of big hits, they were really raw, Australian group, young group at the time, probably the... Um, Hmm, mid 90s, early to mid 90s, probably more like the mid 90s. And uh, you know, here it is, it's Rat Cat Blind Love. It's on the. There you go, there. You can see the songs there. And um, on the Root Art label. Nice label. Uh, if you're not familiar with Rat Cat and you think, who is CV? What's Craig Vinyl CV talking about? Who is this Rat Cat? I have no idea who they are. Uh, if you're going to look them up, um, th consider looking at these songs. The two biggest hits in Australia were um, That Ain't Bad, and that was their, it went number one in Australia, it was their biggest hit. Uh, but the song that I like the best is called Don't Go Now. Uh, my favourite. So have a look at those, Don't Go Now or that ain't bad and you'll see you know what I'm talking about I'd, I'd love to hear anyone who's um, 
who wants to quickly just listen to that. If you're not familiar, have a quick listen and put a note in the comment. I'll be really keen to hear what you think. Uh, I suspect Ratcat did no good overseas. I, I can't see how they, how like, the US would have embraced them. I, I just can't. But um, interested to hear what you think. So, uh, for Australian music and that sort of era, when I was in my early twenties, so you know, understandably, I guess it's it was nice for me to get that album. So, well, there you go, guys. Hope everyone's well. Um, the weather, we're pretty much in the smack bang of winter now and things are pretty cool. We've had a fair fair amount of good consistent rain lately which is awesome so great for my garden. We've got a lot of veggies growing and herbs so um, enjoying the fruits of um, building those gardens and planting them. So that's another story for another day. So. Cheers.